Hi guys, we're at the end of week 23 of taking 100 milligrams of sertraline to treat triple PD and CPTSD. I just recorded a half hour video for you, um, but for some reason it won't upload to YouTube. Um, and mind you, I, I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse really. <laughs> um, the massage ran out again as I was talking and um, I had my makeup on and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of going through all different ways of regulating myself while I was getting a phobic response. So maybe I'll try and upload it again when I've got more time. Um, but just wanted to update you. Since I did my week midweek update, um, I have been walking more in the mornings. I've changed the time that I take the medication. So I've always taken it at night um, with my evening meal before bed. Um, I've now changed that to midday. And the reason that I've done that is because I feel that it was making me a bit too tired in the morning and it was keeping me up at night. So I'm just trying to kind of tweak it a little bit to see if it makes a difference to my sleep because there's no reason for me to be waking up four times during the night. Um, and I'm feeling that when you initially take this kind of medication, for those of you that take it, you'll know it kind of fatigues you in the beginning, but for some people it can energize. And I think that that can change as well. So I think what's happened is, is that I've taken I've taken it initially and it's fatigued me, which is why I decided to take it in the evening. But actually, I think that now I'm up to 100 milligrams. It's actually energised me slightly. So that's why I'm waking up um, throughout the night. So I've decided to switch to midday and then with the idea that I'm going to eventually go uh, to the mornings um, to see how that works with my sleep and um, my energy levels in the morning. Because as I said to you, I do need to get back on the exercise and I can't be doing that when I'm feeling like, Ugh, and I can't get out of bed. So that's that. Um, I'm not fearing the symptoms anymore, but um, definitely got to start the physio. Um, so I'll be doing that very shortly. Um, and I'm going to a gig tonight, um, which is been put on by a friend of mine. It's like a punky reggae anti-coronation party type thing in a local town. So I'll be going there with my partner, um, hopefully do some dancing and um, just have a good night with some good tunes. So I think that's what I need. Although I feel quite heady today, my vision's been a bit off. Um, the usual. Um, I had not great night last night, but that's just how it is. You know, last night I was on my own. My boyfriend was, was playing in, in a band. I didn't really want to go. Um, and I sat at home alone. And when I'm alone, I'm thinking about it more, I'm concentrating on the symptoms, blah, blah, blah. Uh, woke up this morning, was okay, but then walked to the stables, felt tired. My eyes were really strained this morning, really strained. Um, lots of floaters, etc. But it's just whatever. You know, I'm just saying whatever to everything. Come on, bring it on. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> so I do think I'm at the point now where I do need to start the physiotherapy. And I don't know why I haven't yet. I really don't. Um, so I'm going to make that a mission for next week. Um, but I'm going to get through tonight. And I will try and upload the video that I initially recorded for you today um, when I get back. Um, from my evening. Um, I have caught the sun loads. This isn't even makeup. I'm so, my, my skin feels actually quite burnt. Um, so that might be adding to why I feel a bit heady and off, but hopefully I'll have a good night and uh, I'll see you on Sunday and we'll try and upload this video that I recorded for you earlier. All right, love you and leave you. Hope you're okay. Bye.